This Toronto-based firm requires employees who come into the office or attend work events to provide proof of vaccination. Looking at the broader context of, of the pandemic and now the Delta variant, um, we really felt that the first, first thing that we had an obligation to do was protect our entire team. The Human Resources Department manages the vaccination policy, ensuring privacy and making accommodations for those who haven't gotten their jabs. The number of employers across Canada requiring proof of vaccination is growing and includes several post-secondary institutions, mortgage platform, Pinch Financial, as well as a handful of Bay Street law and accounting firms. The Winnipeg Jets just announced that its home games will be sold to full capacity and all employees, event staff and guests must provide proof of full vaccination. The federal government announced a digital vaccine program designed for international travel set to be available in the fall, and Quebec is going ahead with its vaccine passport set to go live September 1st. But leaders in Ontario and Alberta have said they're not going down that route. Even if a province decides not to go down the route of having a vaccine passport, it's critical that they still provide the infrastructure and the tools for businesses who do want to have them for their specific business operation. With so much regional uncertainty thrown into the mix and medical experts warning about the dangers of the fourth wave, legal experts say it's clear why private companies aren't waiting for politicians to act. There's been a shift in the landscape in terms of not only the public viewpoint on vaccine certificates, but also I would suggest the legal uh, uh, viewpoint as well. Earlier in the pandemic, requiring proof of vaccination was viewed as the riskier prospect legally, but now the calculation has changed. It's unfortunate that it's left a private sector to lead the way. And I, and I would really encourage our, our politicians to, to take a look at, at these things and, and lead, and lead with courage. And sometimes these decisions are hard to make. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.